and welcome to the RPG Podcast. We're the Redheads Playing Games. I'm MJ. And I'm Jess. And welcome to episode two. Um, last week we didn't have that much to cover just because there were just a lot of small titles, a lot of digital stuff, a, a lot, lot of, of nothing. Uh, and this week we have the absolute joy of having even less to talk about in terms of games coming out. <laughs> there was no post whatsoever about games coming to PlayStation and upon looking I was able to find two. One for the 3DS, the fantastic series Style Savvy, which is somehow still being made, mm-hmm. and a Steam, Steam, the Steam Heist, Steam World game for the Switch. So, nothing good. Yep. Again. Mm-hmm. So this week we're going to talk about uh, two things that were announced this past week that we're both pretty hyped about. Um, and I'm jingly, by the way, because this is... My fantastic ugly Christmas sweater, so you're going to hear, hear some jingling every now and again. And I don't have one, I just rock my Krampus shirt, because Krampus. Yes. <laughs> my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, then we're going to talk about all the winter events going on in games right now, mm-hmm. uh, some of which are awesome, some I didn't even know they still made, and then we're going to talk some holiday convo about us. Mm-hmm. So Because when you guys are watching this, it will be Christmas. Um, so if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can enjoy just the winter holiday festivities. Um, my holiday came and went, so we're good. Yep. Same with me. Not a big Christmas person. More into Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween wins. Yes. So, I have been waiting. Can we start with it? We can start with it. Okay. I have been waiting to be able to talk about this with her and with you guys, the new Catherine remake that was announced for PS4 and Vita. Okay, I I loved Catherine when it came out on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I was a big advocate for Catherine with a C. Any of you who finished her storyline will know why. Um, From looking at them, I would have picked Catherine with a K until I found out about the ending. And Catherine with a C wins in my book. And now they have announced uh, Catherine Full Bodied, which is a reference from Wine, Wine. which is, again, awesome. Um, With this, they've announced, you know, obviously all the things they do with remakes, so HD graphics, all that kind of new stuff. And the best part is a new character. Who looks adorable. Her name is Rin. She's she a pianist. is a pianist in Vincent's local bar. And she has Vincent's pink the hair. the main character, if you've never played. Oh, sorry, like yeah. Me. I just assume everyone's played it because okay, it's I got so you. good. I'll help you guys. <laughs> oh, um, and I'm calling her my Vita girl because when this game originally came out, Catherine with a C was on the PS3 cover and Catherine with a K was on the 360 cover. And now that they're making it for the Vita, which is an amazing decision because yes. puzzle Vita. puzzle games should always be on the Vita. That's an amazing choice. Vita, um, but now everything that... should be on the Vita. <laughs> yeah, why not? If it's on Give PlayStation, it put it on Vita. Give it the option. I can play Destiny on my Vita just fine mm-hmm. when I decide to try and play with people. It's like twice. Anyway, I'm calling her my Vita girl because she's new. And the only cover that's new for this is Vita. So I am going to be buying it for both PS4 and Vita because I'm a crazy person when it comes to series that I like. So I'm obviously going to choose Catherine with a C again on PS4 because I have to. And then I'm going to play it on my Vita. I'm going to pick my Vita girl. Which... Here's where I'm going to hop in a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. This is um, this is an interesting... I never played Catherine. I always wanted to finally play it, but I didn't feel like going back and dragging my PS3 out of storage. Mm-hmm. Um, so it coming out, I'm excited to try it out. I think the new character, Rin, looks awesome. I Obviously, we have a bias for characters with red and pink hair. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm excited. I'm also excited that... With me hopping into the series now, it's not like I'm just going to reboot. Apparently, because they put the new character in, they have new endings, multiple endings, new options, Mm -hmm. all kinds of new stuff, and they changed up the puzzle system, Mm -hmm. which I'm bad at puzzles, unless they're like Portal. Um, So I'm probably going to be awful at this game, and you guys are going to see me like lose my mind (laughs) 
trying to play it. Well, she's like, oh, it's great. So for those of you who have never played it before or have never even heard of it or have never looked it up. Or um, just saw the cover and went, that's not a game for me. That's probably hentai. Yeah. Uh, Catherine not. is a uh, puzzle game at its core. You play as this character, Vincent, who is in a relationship with Catherine with a K. And um, you become involved with Catherine with a C. And you have to make choices between... Um, it's like a morality meter between choosing Catherine with a K and Catherine with a C. Um, and those decisions can sway how your puzzle going is when you're in the platforming. You end up in a nightmare world-ish kind of thing. Where there's humanoid goats? Everyone in there is there because they're like unfaithful in some way. And you see yourself as you. So Vincent sees himself as him just in boxers. Uh, but then everyone else is a sheep, which is kind of a cool, like, biblical reference or whatever. They look like goats to me. They had horns. Yeah, sheepies. Sheepies have horns. Don't like they? male sheepies, yeah. yeah. Well, they're all men. Oh, uh, they're all men. <laughs> I figured it went both ways, but apparently not. Nope. Although this one might. There's fan theories out there already yes, and yes. apparently in like the two days since this was announced it's already started all kinds of drama online um people are suspecting that rin may be transgendered or maybe hermaphrodite who knows but when you see the naked shot you see the front it starts to pan and then it goes to behind and you see his face get like really freaked out vincent's face yes vincent's face and then all throughout the trailer, they have both male and female signs flashing all over the place. So we're thinking it's probably transgender. Mm-hmm. And that would be a very interesting twist, especially if Rin ends up being an actual romantical line of choices, which I'm assuming she will be. Oh my gosh. I... I'm so excited for this. I love puzzle games. And this one in particular, it has such a dark feeling to it. And, you know, I love horror games too. So it's like, it's like just this wonderful combo of puzzling and darkness and... Yeah, she said <sighs> it, it gets harder and harder because there's always something trying to catch you while you're trying to solve the puzzle. Yep. So if you're not fast enough, you're gonna die mm -hmm. in your dream, I guess. And you'll die a lot. I promise. Because I played it, and they, like, of course, it was originally a Japanese puzzle game, so they, like, dumbed down for Americans. For Americans. Yeah. And they put that in the difficulty choices. They're like, if you want a normal thing, choose easy mode, or something like that. They, like, let you know that it was going to be hard, and it is. After you get to, like, for me, I think it got challenging around, like, the sixth. No. Like midway, it started getting really, really difficult. And I love puzzle games. I'll I... probably get stuck on the first one. Oh, no. No, no, no. The first one is a cakewalk. The second one, The then. first one is like the tutorial boss. So I'll get stuck on the second one. You're going to hear a lot of edge. 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 Because every time you pull a block and edges connect, it says edge. And that's a big... Don't hate me for saying it, but it's a big meme. It's a big meme. <laughs> it's not a meme I know. I gotta hydrate now. Talking about Catherine. I'll take mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. So, next up that we're excited for, probably more me than her because she's just in a Catherine bubble. I am right now, I'm sorry. Um, Monster Hunter Worlds has a second beta. Um, we'll be on the second to last day by the time you guys see this. Um, but it is, once again, only for PS4, but if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you can actually play it this time. It's going to have the same three hunts in beginner, intermediate, and difficult. Um, and then you can, as last time, play it by yourself or with up to three other friends. And then as you do the hunts, you get stuff that will carry over when you get your game. I think, I love when they do that with betas. Oh, yeah. You get stuff, you keep stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it just more rewarding. Yeah. I love that. It's like you just you just played and you unlocked everything that our beta had to offer. 
But now the games come out, so you got to start all over, even if I, you sunk like hours into the yeah, beta. Yeah, it's always awful. But it's nice. But I, I like too that they're putting it out there yet again, because a lot of people when the first one came out, if you've only had like Sony consoles or Xbox consoles, it's been a long time since you've even heard of a Monster Hunter because yep. they've been exclusively Nintendo for mm-hmm. quite some time. Yeah, they've been stuck on like the 3DS and the Wii. Yeah, and the Wii U and bleh. Um, so letting the beta come out in waves where everyone can, like, see their friends playing it and then hop on as well as opening up the co-op, mm-hmm. which I didn't think they were going to do in the beta. Yeah. I was really surprised when I learned that the beta had the co-op mm-hmm. because in the later hunts, like, you need co-op. And I hate playing with people, but you need it. You cannot do it alone. It does not work. Well, do you hate playing co-op even if it's with, like, real life friends? Yeah, I have panic attacks and I hide under the table. What if it's me? Maybe not you. It happens with Shiro, though. <laughs> really? Yeah. In Final Fantasy? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, when I used to play Final Fantasy XIV, um, my FC labeled me as the pet rock, because when we try to do things, I would just try to glitch into a rock and stand there and be like, I'm not here. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't bumped out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't play well with other people. <laughs> and I would just stand awkwardly, like in the FC, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I was this, like, the tallest height you can make a character. I was this big, hulking male dragon. Oh, right. Um, so I've seen Italia. the character. Yeah, and I also, to further alienate myself from people trying to play games with me, I uh, I would dress in really creepy ways. So I'd wear, like, the subligators. So I'd have, like, bondage underwear on and then, like, some strappy boots and a creepy mask but then a flower hat. Hmm. Or I'd wear spiderweb leggings and nothing and... I always looked really awkward. I creeped people out on purpose. I don't play Final Fantasy XIV, which is the MMO one. Uh, but I know if I did and I saw you in game, I'd probably run. That was the point. That sounds terrifying. I was. A giant tall dragon man with bondage underwear and a flower hat. Yeah. He's adorable. Adorable, she says. I think he is. <laughs> His name is Sinky. Um, S- well, his nickname's Sinky. What's his full name? Sinkar. Sinkar. Kakorin. Is that it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I have the whole backlog for why he's as weird as he is, too. I don't think I... Uh, I'm a it's little great. scared. It's great. We'll get into it one day, and then I'll have the timer over my head. <laughs> oh, no. The cathode <laughs> timer. The persona timer. The jest timer. I get really passionate, okay? And that's good. I get to eat. I hope that through my passion, you guys try these games because every time I hear someone talk about something, like a game or an activity that they're really passionate about, I always want to try it for myself. And I really hope that that reaches you guys because Persona and Catherine and any of the other things that I end up being really passionate about and get a timer over my head for are amazing, and I really hope you have the opportunity to try them. <sighs> Anybody listening to, like, the audio podcast of this is like, what timer? It's on the vidcast. Yes. I don't know why I said it to the video, because you guys know that. In the first episode, when I was talking about Persona, I hadn't even noticed that she threw a timer over my head, and I went for almost two minutes just talking about it. I can't even imagine how long I went today. That's going to be good. <sighs> it's going to be great, actually. Anyway... Getting away from the timers. Yes. A little bit. Yeah. Sort of. We'll get back to them. Um, we're going to talk about what games have holiday events going on right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Since this is being uploaded on Christmas and it is the holiday season, mm-hmm. a lot of games are doing uh, winter events. Uh, some games that I play, um, she was mentioning before, some games that we didn't even know were still going are doing holiday events. Um, so we're going to, I mean, even though they've been going for, you know, for while. the most part, a week or two at this point. We figure since it's the holidays... You might um, want to hop on we if you haven't about played it. in a while. Mm-hmm. Maybe you want to hop on before it goes away. Yep, check out the new stuff. Um, so I'll start with one that I personally play, and she's going to tune out. Yeah. Um, 
Overwatch is doing its Winter Wonderland event again this year. It did one last year as well. Uh, in this event, you will have um, new cosmetics, skins, highlight intros, victory poses, all that kind of stuff. The Anna one is really cool. She's a snow owl. Interested? No. Not enough to play it. Um, <laughs> you also have new game modes. There's a May and Winston Yeti hunt and a May snowball fight that's back from last year. It is not a snowball. It's a one-shot kill it's snowball fight. It's a video fight. game. That is not a snowball. It's a video game. I don't game. know what that snow is, but it is not snow. This obviously isn't a real-world scenario. One-shot kill snowballs, I'm sorry. Unless it's, like, densely packed ice filled with all kinds of, like... I'm ready. It's just not... I'm ready. Counterpoint, Destiny is also doing their dawning winter event, and they have snowballs in the game dotted all around every map you go to, and you can one-shot kill with those snowballs, too. I also don't do Destiny. Well, you act like these are real world scenarios. <laughs> Overwatch and Destiny are not make real it, like, world. Four shots to the head or something. I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. So as I was saying, Destiny Two is doing their dawning event again this year. Uh, well, they're bringing it back from the first Destiny, um, and it has uh, new cosmetics that you can get from Eververse armor, uh, transmet effects, ships, ghost shells. Uh, and you also have a daily schematic you can pick up near Ikora in the tower um, that allow you to do quests for special rewards that you would get in those engrams. Which I've um, heard is very grindy. Yes, they can be. I did, um, I logged in yesterday and tried um, my first one since it started. And it was like a three part, like, objective thing that you hold in your inventory just to get an engram that got me a ship and a shader. It was very not worth it, but it's still fun. You've got, you know, winter-themed tower, snowballs all around maps. It's fun. I like winter-themed things. Um, the next one we'll get to, she's playing more than I am right now, but I played it in its first year, um, which was weird for me because it was an MMO as well. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, mm -hmm. they are doing their new life festival. It's got daily missions based on your race. There's for all nine races in the game. Elves win. Um, and Khajiit. I like Khajiit too. The rest of them can go bugger off. Um, A strong opinion. Very strong opinion. <laughs> um, so, you know, the daily quests. There's um, different themes that you can do for, like, the items that you get. And as always, they have their crown store full of really cute stuff. I know I got an email saying that I could get this cute little basilisk pet, but he looks like a little electronic basilisk, like he came out of Horizon. He looks adorable. Oh, is that the one with the little wings? Yes! Yes, He's I so saw that cute. one. He's so very cute. So if you cute. haven't played in a while, at least hop on, get some holiday stuff. Mm -hmm. um, also, coming out with holiday stuff, or already came out, is Hitman, mm -hmm. which makes me very happy. Um, I was honestly surprised to hear about this one. I didn't Hitman think it would, because very few single-player games do the holiday stuff. Mm -hmm. But apparently the Paris map is covered in snow now. Kind of covered. <laughs> um, and then you have two new targets. Um, they're thieves you gotta take out or whatever. And you do it while dressed as Santa. But in my mind, it looks like Santa went on a diet that Miss Claus put him on, and he is losing his mind. It's like a vegan diet, and he is just completely snapped. And he's taking it out on these two guys, and in my mind, they're like the chefs up at the North Pole, and he's hunted them to Paris. We we had a, we had a short conversation about this particular winter event before we started, and when she first told me that 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 was her opinion of it, I was laughing so hard. I it looks like Santa finally loses it, and he's slimmed down because he's on some crazy vegan diet, and, and he's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. He is not having it. And he just loses it. And I think that's great. So there's that. Uh, we also have um, Call of Duty doing like a small winter event. I think it's just winterized maps. Yeah, um, there's two maps. There's the Genesis map on Infinite Warfare, if anyone plays that, which is no one. Um, and then Modern Warfare Remaster has the Winter Crash map. Um, that one might be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, speaking of Sinky, my pet rock. Final Fantasy fourteen has a winter event, which and is adorable. adorable. It's very cute. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you like having mounts, there is the absolute cutest bear mount I have seen in any game. Oh, he's got his little hat. He's, he's so, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. As always, to get your like uh, event stuff, you have to be level 15 at least. Um, you pick up your quest in Limsa, um, which is like the Oceanian, Oceany town, if you don't really play. Um, I don't. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's the Oceany town on like cool spires, and it's got the angry lady. Um, I don't like her. <laughs> I like Gardenia, okay? I like my plants and my rocks. There's no rocks, I don't like it. Do they offer, um... Yeah. Ability to obtain Christmas outfit? Yes, if you don't there's, already always, have it? there's always Christmas outfits when you do the main one. There's also going to be holiday-themed outfits on the Mog Station, which you can buy with real money. Um, there's usually, like, a couple of things you can put in your house... Um, little items. I believe there are some... I think there's a minion? I'm not sure now. Hmm. I think there's a minion you can get somewhere. It feels like there should be. Yeah. But the bear. You need the bear. Oh, if you haven't subbed so in a while, cute. sub up and get your bear. Speaking of real money, yes. there's one game that unfortunately is doing a winter event. It's Street Fighter V. Um... It has special uh, costumes and maps that are winterized, but you can only get them if you spend real money. But Yuri looks cute. <laughs> I'm the only person in the world that calls her cute. But she, okay, fine. She looks hot. Okay? There you go. Yuri looks hot. <laughs> which, other, which other winter events do we have? We have all those small titles. Were there any big ones that we're um, missing? Well, World of Warcraft is, is always oh, doing its winter World event. Of Warcraft, it's correct. the same that it's ever been. There's, like, nothing new. You know, you can kiss people, get mistletoe, festivize your mount, you can turn into little things. You can get the hats from doing boss fights. The same as always. It's been the same for years. It's, it still is. They didn't change anything. Mm. Um, oh, oh, the secret world. Okay. I did not know about this game. At all. I, I think no she's idea about to was. have a timer. I am. <laughs> I, I went a little crazy when I read about this because it's Krampus Knocked, which is Krampus. The Night of Krampus. Um, so instantly I was like, okay, what is this? It's a PC game. Mm-hmm. Um, Steam gave it a 7 out of 10. I think IGN gave it like a 76. Um, but basically there are Krampus monsters roaming about the adventure zones. You kill them. You open a portal to fight another boss. There's a secret quest where you can do a ritual to summon Hel, who is the goddess of the underworld in Norse mythology. Um, She's an awesome boss fight. Um, There was something else that I got really excited about. Oh, the PvP zones. Okay, I don't do PvP. I would do PvP for this. So, oh, this is the tag. This is the tag. Oh, you can play tag. Okay, so, as you rack up to a certain point, you'll get the title um, Lord of Misrule, and then you transform into a Krampus with Krampus abilities, and you're just like a little oh. tanking machine until somebody kills you, and then they inherit that, is that so title cool. and that. So it's like an ongoing game of tag. That sounds awesome. But everyone's, oh, it sounds, oh, I That sounds it. really fun. I need it. I'd play it just for that. It's free to play. Ooh. Free to play. So I'm very excited. I'm going to have to grab it. I'm going to have to grab it. I'll have an anxiety attack and then unplug everything for oh, like a week. Oh, it's but Krampus. It'll be it should worth soothe it. you. It the might. fact that it's Krampus. It might. Uh, we also have um, GTA doing like a mini event. It's just like yeah. um, free. Again, most of these are cosmetics. Um, so it's free. Uh, fun hats, really, really ugly sweaters. The ugly um, sweaters I think you have to buy with in-game currency, though. And then 25% off guns and apartments. Uh, and oh, now... FIFA has good free oh, stuff. Oh, right, that's right. If you are a sport game person, FIFA is doing uh, daily giveaways of ultimate team items. Mm-hmm. For Until the January 3rd. Yeah. yeah, so January 3rd. So that's cool. I've never heard of a sport game really doing that for the holidays. Uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen is doing uh, holiday photo frames and DLC drops. Um, Gears of War 4 is doing... Gears Miss. Gears Mess, which is really cute. Uh, ugly it has Christmas the cutest, cutest skins of like gingerbread for your weapons and stuff. 
and then like an ugly sweater skin to go over your, your business. Lovely. It just looks so cute. And then they have another snowball fight. You are so... You are so down on these snowball Look, fights. Look, if snowballs could kill, I'd be a lot happier. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Okay, just going back to Overwatch for a quick second. Uh-oh. It's really funny when in the May snowball fight... I just messed that up. In the May snowball fight mode, when she's reloading her thing, because you only get one mm-hmm. in the chamber, sometimes she'll say, I'm going to put a rock in this one. Which is, I think, is funny. The first time I heard that, I laughed. I thought that was funny. That makes more sense. (laughs) Could kill someone if it's a big rock. Yeah. Yeah. Coated in ice. Sure. (laughs) Uh, What other events do we have? There's surprisingly a lot of smaller titles doing, like, mini events. Yeah. um, Heroes of the Storm apparently is doing stuff again. And Mm -hmm. apparently in their 2015 holiday thing, you didn't get to keep the stuff after the holidays. This time you can. Wow. Some of the skins. That's evil. Yeah, it's really awful. Um, but then again, Destiny did that with uh, the masks. If you didn't, like, level oh, them in or something, you lost them. Or you right. didn't lose them, but you couldn't wear yeah. them. Yeah. You had to, like, evolve them to a certain point. So, it's not unheard of. That's true. Then again, don't copy Bungie. Yeah, um, Bungie's not. Don't apparently, copy. EverQuest 2 and Guild Wars 2 are still things, and they each have holiday events. Um, Wildstar. That one just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, um, we're not even going to go there. That one, that was like pennied out within like a week. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, DC Universe, you can buy stuff in the store. Um, oh, Fallout 4, which is a single player, mm. um, is actually having some holiday stuff. Diamond City is decorated. Um, and then there's a cl- count, clock, clock countdown for the holiday. Um, Dead Rising 4. Which, which is redundant. It seems weird because it's always Christmas there. Um, Minecraft DLC, uh, is a Krampus skin, um, and she, a quote from MJ is, there are other ones, but this is the only one that matters for Krampus. Yes. So Minecraft, you've got some other Christmas skins if you're interested in that. I didn't bother to tell her. Uh, Pokemon Go, uh, you can catch a Pikachu in a Santa hat. That's it. Um... (laughs) Roller Coaster Tycoon. This is still a thing. If you were interested, in I played this on like Windows ninety five. Yes, yes. I think I still have that disc. I it won't run on anything right now. No, but Maybe. I still have it. That and the triple pack of Zoo Tycoon with all the worlds. Nice. I got those as like a, a gift for Christmas one year. Decent. Um, decent back and, then. That was a decent gift. Um, of course, Animal Crossing is doing, I think the event for building Christmas things in Pocket Camp ends in like, ends like on Christmas. Uh, so you've got a couple more days to build all your Christmas stuff. There's snow everywhere. Um, While there's a phone game being mentioned, there's a I fashion was, phone I game. I was just going to talk a, about a Love Nikki. Love Nikki. <laughs> um, it has a holiday event right now. Yes, I, it does. I can't get one of them to work for me, but the other ones are working just fine. Which one? The one where you swipe up and down in the shop and you can get that really cute cloud style outfit does not work. We'll talk about that one later on our own time because I think I know what she's talking about. <laughs> not going to concern you. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are just like, we're turning off now. Yeah, yeah. You guys are like phone games. Yeah. Um, Neverwinter, the bastardization of my favorite childhood game, um, is having a holiday event if any of you play that. She's very heated right now. I can feel the flames coming off her. I'm just. I hate that game (laughs) in the notes for this episode she literally wrote killer of childhood dreams in all caps in all caps and i didn't write anything else next to it you didn't which is why i'm letting you take care of it yeah yeah (laughs) it doesn't matter that they're having holiday events because that game is (laughs) anyway whoa so those are all the notable holiday events going on in games. So if you haven't logged into something in a long time or you're just starting to get into it, you can look forward to these holiday events. I think Battlefield 1 had something too, but I don't know what it was. Probably the same thing as Call of Duty. Probably yeah. a themed map. Yeah. But, you know, first-person shooters, they don't have, like, a big... Not really. ...cosmetic community. No. That's that's usually what these events are for, is for cosmetics. Yeah. RPG types. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't already, on Persona 5, you can download the Santa outfits. Uh, they're free. Yeah, the Christmas DLCs. 
Oh, they're so cute. them for free and dress up your characters Unless you're in on, Santa. then that's just slut. Yeah, well... It's like a little now. bandu top and like a little skirt with a slit. And that's it. Who even uses Anne in their party? Hands up. Just kidding. I don't use Anne. I only use her in Haru's castle. I have much better, like, fire-based personas in my own arsenal. The only thing she was good for for me was in certain boss fights where, um, like, stat... Oh, so, stats yeah, were a thing. Down. She has like uh, Dekunda and Secunda, so like yeah. nullifying stat decreases and increases. Yeah, was the only thing I used her for. <laughs> but Haru's cute as hell. Oh my gosh, she's such. She's just a cutie. In general. So are you. You're cute and hell in that game. Makoto. Oh, uh, Makoto's my angel. Oh. I love her. Uh huh. Moving on. <laughs> Sorry, I had a, I had a real moment right there. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh. Um, so that's pretty much all the holiday e notes we have. So mm-hmm. we're just gonna do a bit of chat now. Mm-hmm. Um, well, since it's the holiday season and this is being uploaded on Christmas, is there anything you're looking forward to getting for Christmas that's game related? I'm looking forward to getting a Persona Five art book, which I'm pretty sure is under the bed in the other room. Are you spying? No, it's just a book-shaped box. Yo, she's peeking at gifts people are buying for her. It's a book-shaped box. It's got the heft. Pretty sure I could hit someone with it and knock them out. So I think it's the Persona 5 art book. I'm really, 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 really hoping it's that. Um, And then I always have gaming figures on my wish list. Oh, yeah. So... You can never have enough figures. No. So hopefully I get some of them. Um... I think that's all that's on mine. Oh, I want an Aperture mug. <gasps> it's like a brown Aperture mug. I think Geek used to have it. I don't think it's there anymore. Brown? Yeah. It is nice. Oh, my And I goodness. want some Borderlands hats. Hats? Mm-hmm. Like beanies or snapbacks? No, like baseball caps. Not the flat brim thing. I can't do that. Mmm, like curve ones. Mm-hmm. Dad hats, they're called now. <laughs> I'm old, okay? I'm just crushing you. <laughs> I think there's not that much that I'm wanting gaming wise this year. I don't need the games, just the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you had asked me this question, I think like four months ago or five months ago, I would have said God of War. But now that that's been delayed, I'm probably just hoping for like PlayStation currency, uh, so I can buy some stuff on the store. Maybe some new Otome games. Yes. Mm-hmm. Although you own the one that you're supposed to play. Here we go again. Collar X. Here we go again. She's not doing it. That aside, what about Star Ocean? Because you haven't gotten that yet. That's right. That's right. I can buy Star Ocean, Last Hope, 4K Remaster on my PS4 Pro. I can get that digital. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time my Christmas happens. It's not on sale, but it's still the day one. So you still get the theme and the avatars. I love themes. I still haven't changed from my horror theme. I still haven't changed from my Makoto theme. Since the game came out in April. We have a problem. That game... Okay. This is not relevant. That game was originally supposed to come out, Persona 5, on Valentine's Day, and it was called the Take Your Heart Edition. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And it got pushed to April, and it made no sense anymore. (laughs) I mean, it still... Yes, it does. I know it still makes sense. They steal hearts. I know it still makes sense, but it was supposed to come out on Valentine's Day. Now I feel the heat coming out. I'm just saying... (laughs) All right, then. Um, you just got your 4K TV. Is there anything else you need gaming-wise? I don't think so. Uh, maybe a new uh, 4K-capable Elgato, because those are out now, and they're very expensive. Really? hmm I mean, the normal, like, the top-of-the-line Elgato, when I got it, was, like, 200 bucks. Hmm. That's true. And now there's a 4K capable one. I I know it's expensive. I haven't even looked it up, and I know it's expensive. But that would be nice. I know it's not going to happen, but it would be cool. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. It'll be there. Yeah. Um, what about in the past? What was the best gaming-related gift you've ever received? The best gaming Christmas gift. It's hard to say because... 
for a long time, the only gifts I would ask for were gaming related. So there's a ton in my head. But I think the first thing that comes to mind is when I got a PS2 for Christmas. Mm. Because I never personally owned an original PlayStation. My friends had them and I would play them over at their houses and stay like forever and just play it. But when I finally got a PS2, it was such a moment. I, I must have cried. I must have cried for like 10 minutes when I opened that box. I kid you not. I was so excited to see a PS2 come out of a huge box. It was such a moment for me. What about you? Probably the PS2 as well. Really? I had had, I had, had a PS1, but it was my brother's. Mm. So it was, you know, you on his play. terms. You can't play. It. That I had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't think I got it the debut year. I think I got it in 2001, mm. the PS2. So okay. I'm pretty sure the game I got with it was Final Fantasy X. Mm. Which at that point, my brother had since moved out. And I had, I didn't have a memory card. So I had Final Fantasy VIII permanently running because I couldn't save it. Oh my god. So everybody knew I played Final Fantasy. That's dangerous. Oh my god, it was like a heart attack all the time. Especially when you had to go back and forth discs. Like if I messed something up. Holy crap. That's risky. It was terrifying. I don't Kids remember. these days have no idea what that's like. Oh my god, memory cards. I, I will say... It might age me by saying it, but I wish that they would still work on a memory card system. I do too. Because having internal memory, it makes things simpler, yes, but like if it fills up, I feel like it's more annoying Mm -hmm. to like swap that out. You can use an external drive and just like put that stuff on there, but I hate doing that Mm -hmm. just because like... Or the cloud save, but that (sighs) runs out. Yeah. So, like, it was a real perk for me when I upgraded to the PS4 Pro because I got that extra 500 gigabytes in storage. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do it just for that, but I don't know. There's something, there was something really cool about having having it in your hand and being like, oh, I know what games are on here. I'm just going to pop it in and I can play any of them. Mm -hmm. Or, like, if you're going to your friends when, like, Soul Calibur 2 is a thing, right? You're going to your friends, you've played the crap out of it and they haven't. So you bring your memory card, and they have the game, and you just pop it in, and then you play on your stuff, and mm-hmm. you get all the perks. Hell yeah. Which now you can't do, because everyone's logged in, so you can't steal their perks when they play the game. I didn't bank on that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, But yeah, I would say, that's funny, it's PS2 for both of us. The yeah. PS2, that was probably my biggest gift. And, and yeah. the reason I was fighting with it is because... PS3 was a really exciting gift for me, and PS4 was a really exciting gift for me. My mom spoils me with systems, I guess. See, that was the only console I think I've gotten from my family. Um, The PS3 gift, I got years after the PS3 came out. Mm. I got it it in 2011. Oh, wow. And it was gifted to me with Skyrim. Well, that's a nice combo. Which, for me, is like one of... My all tiny, I've almost all of the Skyrim books that they've put out. Mm-hmm. I need like three more, mm-hmm. and that's it. I have every edition. I've played it on every console. I'm obsessed. What do you think you're m- more obsessed with, Skyrim, Borderlands, or Final Fantasy? Oh no, because <laughs> I know that those are your your big three. Because it's only certain Final Fantasies, I'm going to put Final Fantasy out of the running. It's only certain ones. Okay, that's fair. There's quite a few that I'm like, no way. Mm -hmm. Um, Thirteen. (coughs) Thirteen. I'm gagging on the number. (laughs) Um, Thirteen, two. Borderlands and Skyrim. Were we talking the Elder Scrolls universe? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to still say Elder Scrolls. I am obsessed wow. with Borderlands, and I have a serious problem, but definitely Elder Scrolls. Every time I play that game, I have a new purpose. Mm-hmm. So, in one, it's, you know, discovering and clearing every single dungeon that's in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, in others, it's, you know, every possible collectible that you can get. Um, in one of them, um, it was when they had modded houses. On the PC, I had to get a modded house because the houses that you could build in Hearthfire still didn't have a big enough library for this. I have every single game 
journal letter in the game. Wow. Alphabetized. That's incredible. In my library. Wow. Alphabetized. I have a problem. That is impressive. It's a disgusting amount of in-game hours. For I that. can only imagine. I'd say probably the only game I have that rivals that amount of hours would be the amount of hours I've put into like Persona 3. Mm-hmm. Because I played that on PS2, like, to completion three times or so. Maybe mm-hmm. more. And then I also have a downloaded version on my PS3 that I played the crap out of. And then there was the version that the came PSP. out on the PSP where you could play as a female. I played the crap out of that. And each playthrough, at minimum for me, is, like, 180 hours. Minimum. Because I like to do I everything see that. I'm thoroughly. I'm at 80 hours right now in five. So, so I can see that. Yeah. And, like, j- the, then there's that, and you go New Game Plus, and you've got all these different platforms. So I'd say probably the only game I have that would rival that kind of hourage is Persona 3. I have a serious problem. Yeah. Well, I think we all have a serious problem when it comes to one thing or another. Yeah. Because mine is Persona 3. Yours is Elder Scrolls. You guys have them, too. We know. We know. Let us know. Tell us. See you. Tell us. Tell us what they are. Yes, let us know what your biggest time-sucking games are. Because everybody has one. And if you don't, you have, like, a line of series. So, for instance, maybe you're one of those people that's not really into RPGs. You only play sports games. Maybe you have, over, like, the course of three different sports games, maybe you have, like, a shit ton of hours ranked with those. Who knows? It doesn't have to be... The, the same game. It could be a series. Yeah. Like Elder Scrolls, that's a series. Exactly, yeah. Oh, Skyrim definitely has the most of my hours. Skyrim and Morrowind. Hmm. Which I can't play anymore. It's rough. I only played, when it comes to the Elder Scrolls series, I watched one of my friends play, so I can't say I played it, but I saw someone play Oblivion on their PC. And I played Skyrim on the PS3, and I didn't play Morrowind, but I have... Uh, ESO online Morrowind now, so I like yes. am getting acquainted with the world, which is so cool. which is very I love cool. Morrowind. Mm-hmm. My Templar is only level eight right now. We well, haven't been playing much. Mm-mm. I haven't. I could hop on. I've been very busy very. working on this podcast. Oh, small upgrades—they're happening. <laughs> they are. You they probably are. can't tell, but uh, we have a new friend. We do. We have a new friend. This is um. This is Tiki Joe. Tiki Joe. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Good name. Yeah. Quick wit. I won't say where he came from, but the name's a big hint. <laughs> He's a good friend. He is. He is. He likes to have his vitamin C. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he looks good in the shot, though. He does. He really does. I love his little hand. I know. He's so cute. That aside, the people listening are oh like, Oh my what god, is the going people on? just listening are like, What the hell is a Tiki Joe? I know. <laughs> we'll put it in the in the It's image. okay. We'll we'll give you an image of it. He's a cutie. <laughs> he is a cutie. But alright. I think we covered everything. Yep. So let us know your biggest time sucking games, mm-hmm. if there's anything you're really excited about for the holidays or maybe your best gift. Mm-hmm. Um, don't forget to check us out. We have our vidcast on YouTube. We have our podcast via Podbean. Mm-hmm. We have our Patreon. Yep. Please hop over. Patreon.com slash the RPG podcast. RPG podcast. Mm-hmm. And Podbean is just the RPG dot Podbean. Because I got that. Hey. I got that. All right, so that will do it for this episode of the RPG Podcast. Um, Enjoy your winter holidays, yes, your festivities, have whatever you have going on. Have a very happy holiday, whether it's just you or friends or family. We a day hope off that it's from wonderful. work. Oh, yes. So enjoy, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.